Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Sorry, a bit over the top there. Today we're tasting some more treats from around the world that you guys have been sending me. All right. Uh, today is the turn of a country that about a day ago I didn't even know existed. It's called Ireland. Okay. Have you heard of Ireland? I don't know. I'd never heard of it. Not Ireland, as in Ireland. What the Ireland, the gold under the rainbow and all that stuff. No, Ireland. Okay. It's between Sweden and Finland. There's a cluster of islands. And it's actually its own country known as Ireland, and the population is roughly twenty-eight thousand. Which, considering we've got 160,000 subscribers on this channel, is uh, putting things into perspective quite a bit. So the lovely Lillian has sent me this letter, which she Google translated, and it's actually turned out okay. Google translation is a little bit crazy sometimes, I must admit, with a load of treats from Ireland, okay? So we are going to go through these today, have a nice little taste or so. I've already done a taste treating video um, from Sweden and also one from Finland. And on both of those, the Swedish one was like, hey man, no, some of those treats are from Finland, that's wrong. And on the Finland one, hey man, no, some of those treats are from Sweden, that's wrong. Can we all just get along? I'm just the guy like eating what I've been sent, I don't know. So, you know, I can't help it. Just, just all get along. And knowing that this island is slap, slap between the two, Sweden and Finland, we might get some debates here, but let's just enjoy it, okay? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so first up by Tafel Snacks is something called Sips, okay? Uh, mini Pussy Sips. Uh, real potato chips, right taste. That is an amazing slogan. You know, you would get the sale right away. Okay, man, there's my money. I love that phrase. That's amazing. Uh, sips. Are these like crisps that you have to sip on them? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's get straight in there, shall we? Trying to get my nose in there like a dog, snipping away. It's a very light, salted smell in there initially. And these crisps actually are very, very light and they're ridged. And they're looking good. Let's have a little taste, shall we? Yes, we shall. Should we sip? No. Yeah, that is a fantastic start. And as it does say on the front, real potato chips as opposed to fake potato chips and the right taste. Loving that. Lightly salted. Nice and light. All right. So it appears all the crisps are from this company called Tafel. I don't really like that word, Tafel. It's like taff, taffy, taffiness, taffington, tough, tough, tiff, taff, tough. I don't really like it. But these are called uh, Broadway Sour Cream and Chai Flavor Mini Pussy. Uh, again, uh, yes, so this could be interesting. Could it be named Broadway as they were sort of, that was their target market. They could only have these if you worked on Broadway. Oh, they say the neon lights are bright. Oh, bro. Sorry, uh, yes, could that be the case? I do not know. Uh, although that would be pretty bad because people would like eating them and then singing, neon lights are bright. Oh, and then we'd be like, yeah, stop. You know, sorry. Oh, blimey, they have got a bit of a stench to them. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, it stings the nostrils. I think that's what he said in the film. Anyhow, uh, again, nice thin looking crisps and very rigid again with, with the, uh, hmm, okay. Yeah, with the flavouring of the sour cream and onion. It is enough in there for me, if I'm just in here on my own right now and I'm breathing around here, I'm like, <gasps> I do my own Broadway show. But they are very nice too. Let's have some more crisps. Actually, we'll have a little break from Chris for the moment. Let's go for something a bit sweet. This is Double Nougat, okay? And it's spelled double, D-U-B-B-E-L. Kind of like a gangster would say it. Hey, man, you seeing double? Hey, man, I ain't seeing double. I got my glasses on, damn it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so Double Nougat, made by Marabou. I kind of find Nougat a little bit boring and bland and a little bit pointless. Uh, so this will be an interesting taste. I love all this thing on my modern chocolate bars. It didn't used to be like that, did it? Where you could actually open it and just unravel the bar. Oh, here we go. It's kind of like a big bar of, of nougat. Let's have a, like a fudgy nougat. Oh my goodness. Is that like a hazelnutty, like extreme like Nutella version of nougat? That is incredible. We've almost got an instant R. Kelly, my man's telling me no moment. That's really surprised me. I'm loving that. I'm loving the double. Are you seeing double baby? I'm seeing double. I'm loving the double. Mmm, that's gorgeous. All right, so next up by somebody called Panda is uh, Enkeli Sukla Pato Kukoita, which sounds like something you would say if you are angry. Enkeli Sukla Pato Toikoita! Maybe. Uh, it needs a little bit more work. Um, it's kind of confusing because with a packaging that says Panda, you'd expect some sort of Panda tribute on there, maybe black and white packaging, uh, maybe some bamboo shoots, just out of courtesy, you know, but instead uh, they've slapped a baby on there, like a, quite an angelic uh, baby face right there. Maybe that's to help calm you down after you've said the, I ain't killing that, got really angry, then you see the baby, you're like, oh. But um, what I can gather from this is it's nougat again, right? Let's have some more nougat. 
So they're individually packaged again uh, for portion control, uh, which is always good for my figure. Uh, so here we go, the kit is on the front again. It's a little bit scary and intimidating. We will get into this and Kelly, whatever the last one, whatever it's called. <gasps> chocolate coated? Is it chocolate coated? We could be going somewhere with this. I do hate nougat normally, but if you're putting stuff with it, I can work with you. We can, we can work with this, nougat people, yeah? Okay. Mmm. That's all right. It's very chewy. The, the chocolate is quite mild. There's not much bite to it. I probably prefer like a darker chocolate to ride over that nougat wave, but um, you know, you could survive on this. But it's not amazing. But it's not that bad. All right, so next up is something called Nacho Cheese Balls. Uh, Biterfell again. What do you call cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese, all right? That's how you say that joke, right? I think I've got it right, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so on the front cover, it appears there is a Twinkie playing baseball with these cheese balls, which incidentally could make the whole game of baseball just take it up a notch by using cheese crisps rather than actual baseballs. You get a lot of float and air time, you know? Uh, so yeah, it uh, looks like cheesy crisps, the sort of things that you get on your controller when you're playing video games, you get cheesy crisps all over, those sort of ones. Oh, and these uh, appear to be like quite strong ones as well. Uh, very foamy, yes, they are the type that gets the bits on your fingers. So yes, I'm just gonna go, just gonna go for the one. Okay, we got through it. I'm just not a fan of cheese crisps, sorry. So um, the biggest thing, yes, I do have gamer fingers now, cheesy fingers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the biggest thing, it says the original snacks to fell nacho cheese balls with real cheese all on the front cover in English. And on the back, there's no English at all like, on the ingredients. You can't tell what it is. It's got every other country in the world. It's like there's somewhere in Ireland, there's a man sat there going, <laughs> you English fool, you don't need to know what is in them. Mm. Okay, so next up is something called Halili Mix, which uh, Halili sounds like it could be a TV show. 9 p.m. Saturday night, don't forget to catch Halili. Uh, maybe, but I'm excited about this because not only is it different shapes on there, if these, they, you know, the colour, sometimes you stereotype, I'm thinking, I'm hoping this is salt and vinegar flavour. I Fingers crossed. And there's these sort of cheap brand of crisps you get, particularly here in the UK, like quite spirally ones. There's a spiral right there. They are like my favourite crisp in the whole world, okay? And they're really like cheap as well. So, really exciting. All right, okay, there's no waft of salt and vinegar that I was expecting to hit me. It usually does in my favourite pack. Um, it does sound very plain. Sound very plain? Hello. Uh, it smells very, very plain. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull out a handful. They're very, very light, all different shapes. You've got like a square, a circle, a star. Okay, it could be like a sheriff right now. Uh, so let's go for a star, actually. Let's just have a go. Oh, okay. That is a shame, because if these were laced in salt and vinegar flavour, I would be literally on my knees singing a whole R. Kelly album right now, but um, these, these, these will do, apart from the one on the floor. Hmm, salted flavour. Right then folks, this is not a steering wheel, uh, it's not a hat, it's not a travel pillow, uh, it's not one of them wrist supports for when you're using your, your mouse and your computer. This is some dark bread called a Lanstest Svartbrot, okay? It is, I can't explain to you, it's actually like how weighty this is. It's quite butch, it's stern, it's intimidating bread right there. So what I'm going to do is have a little slice with this and also some marmalade I was sent. Have Torn's Marmalade complete with our land flag on it. I must say as well, before I spread it, that marmalade is very, very fragrant as well. I'm not sure, is that peach marmalade? Uh, I'm just gonna get this on this bit of bread. It's all drooping all over my counter. Amazing times. Uh, let's have a taste of this. It just, even this little piece here just feels so like butch. Urgh. That marmalade has got a nice bank to it and that bread is firm. It's tough. And the word that I'm gonna use to sum this up is wholesome, okay? You know something when it's wholesome, it smells wholesome, it feels wholesome, it tastes wholesome. I don't know what my arm and my waist is starting to do, but it feels good. I like it. I love the smell. Really, really nice. Thank you. Goodbye. Next up, again by Panda, is something called Tontu Suklapatokoita, uh, which you want to try and say when you're drunk. Uh, obviously not. Uh, on the front cover, there's a guy with a Christmas hat on, which is very exciting. Uh, it does make you think about the whole world of packaging, uh, which this whole, whenever I do these tasting videos, you know, sometimes you get some crazy, like, like Japanese dinosaur things on it, or other times you get some very bland stuff. And, like, this guy is just sat there with a Christmas hat on. But maybe some people fall for that. They're like, that little boy, that little boy, if I don't buy the packet, no one's going to buy him. So you buy it, right? So this apparently is strawberry or banana flavoured nougat. 
Okay, so they come in individual red and blue uh, packaging. So one says banana on it, the other one says Mansika. So I'd imagine Mansika uh, means strawberry, and I'm in a mood for some strawberry. Or some fraise? Is that a country? What, what country says fraise for strawberry? I don't know. Was it framboise? Framboise. I, 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 sorry. So it's quite similar to that evil and Kelly thing that we tried earlier. Uh, again, it's made by Panda and there's a child on the front, so it's obviously a very consistent theme there. It's chocolate coated as well, so I'm just gonna... Uh, oh wow, nice and pink. Can you see the pinkness in that? Ooh, so let's have a go. I could be excited about strawberry nougat. Mmm. I have to say, folks, that was extremely naughty. I liked it, but I think there's a lot of flavouring in there. Do you remember that flavoured strawberry milk you had when you were growing up? How extremely strong and flavourful that was? Uh, you know, the strawberry one, obviously, not, not the banana, but the strawberry right now. That basically tastes like an edible one of those with chocolate on as well. So, it is nice, but very naughty. Mmm. All right, it's now time for a little flurry of chocolate-based confectionery, all from Marabou, actually. Uh, this first one is Mint Choco. It's in quite a bland uh, style packaging. It feels very firm. Uh, on the front, it looks like it actually could be a teeth buster. Uh, Mint Choco does sound like some sort of 80s nightclub. Hey, man, you coming to Mint Choco tonight? Yeah, baby, I'll see you there, boy. Let's, uh, let's try one. Oh, my goodness. This has totally surprised me. This is my surprise face. Okay, that's my surprise face. Uh, these, you guys, you know what Rolos are? This looks like the Rolo shape, okay? Very, very similar, like a little chocolate cup. Um, I'm gonna bite into this right now. Hopefully it's not too hard. Oh, my goodness. It's soft. This is like a mint flavored Rolo. Mmm. Guys, that has completely blown me away. I feel like I'm on the front of the Titanic with Jack going near, far, wherever you are. So, so good. It's like a Rolo, but like minty flavoured toffee in the middle of it. It's just not quite R. Kelly for me on this one though, because the mint is just sort of shattering my dreams of a Rolo. Okay, I just love Rolos that much. But that is not a teeth shatterer. Very, very nice indeed. I'm not going to lie, I'm really excited by these. This is, again, by Marabou, and it just simply says on the front, Dime. So, could this be, again, it feels urgh, so butch, but could this be bite-sized Dime Bar pieces? Amazing. Oh, by the buttocks of the Prime Minister of Ireland, if there is a Prime Minister of Ireland, I'm, I'm sorry, I salute you and all that stuff. So, so good. They're like little, like, coins. <sighs> I'm going to try one right now. Is that all right with you? I think it is. Thanks for nodding. Yes. Oh my goodness, guys, they are amazing. I was just doing the dime bar dance, okay? This is the official uh, dime bar dance. Little dime bars in coins, so, so good. Uh, although you could just buy a big dime bar. And if you're interested, I did some homemade dime bars. You can click here for the video if you want to watch it. So, so good. They are amazing. They're amazing. Gotta say, this little chocolate batch right now has been good. So much R. Kelly going on right now. Mm, right there. So this next one is something called crispy, uh, but it's spelt differently. It's got the I on the end, so it could be Crispy! That could be marketing uh, for Marabou. You could just put the I, loads of them, on the end. Uh, puffed rice and toffee. Uh, on the front, these actual, uh, the piece of it does look like little teeth. It makes you quite really, like, intimidating. Uh, but the word puffed, I don't know why. I'm just thinking of Ghostbusters and the whole stay puffed thing right there. Uh, but I'm quite excited to try this. Okay, so like a nice, big, turdy, log shaped thing of puffed rice. This is, can I bite into you? Is that all right? Thanks. Mmm. Oh, wow, guys, it's like a bar inside a bar. You can't probably see it too well right there, but it almost looks like there's a Kit Kat wedge in the middle, but that's just like a big old barrel of toffee which they've surrounded in this extra chocolate layer and puff rice. My man's telling me no! This Arnon stuff is amazing! <laughs> nice. So the last of our chocolate batch right here, Marabou Bublik, okay? Which could be branded as the chocolate for rasters. Hey, Bublik, we can come in, come in, Bublik, in and out, in and out, whip, 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 whip. all that stuff. Bubbly chocolate, I guess, because there's lots of bubbles on the front cover. Could be like an arrow here in the UK. Let's find out. Yes, it indeed looks like bubbly chocolate. It's all like bubbly surface, kind of like the, the, the moon. I feel like I should be in a space outfit right now. I'd look like a Thunderbird then. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna bite into it. Here we go. Mmm. I am actually really, really liking this. And one thing that I don't generally like when I do these tasting videos is chocolate from other countries. Now this Marabou, you guys have nailed it. That is nice. It's maybe not quite English chocolate, but you're nearly there. I'm loving that. Very arrowy. y uh, I just can't shatter my dreams of arrows again, kind of like the Rolos with those mint choc ones, because we can get mint and orange flavor ones and stuff like that. 
and this is just plain chocolate bubbles, but the chocolate is actually really, really good. So uh, high five, Ireland. Last thing is some meat. Yes. Right then folks, it's a little different ending to the video because normally with these tasting videos I get uh, some crisps, uh, drinks, sweets or confectionery generally. I don't tend to get meat, uh, which is what I've been sent here. You know, I've had a few weird things like uh, the fish sausage and stuff like that. But this is actually, by the looks of it, some decent quality meat. Uh, this looks like Pep Armed Worst Skivad, which appears to be a salami. I've taken a couple of slices out. It smells really salami and peppery. I think I could get away with eating it like this. Uh, it's, it's ribbed with pepper, uh, which is quite cool. And if you look at it and you break it down, pep armed worst. Uh, yeah, we've got a, a worst armed with pepper over. We need to arrest him immediately. Maybe that's uh, the angle there. And also, I've been sent some Vit Safari carrying suds. I don't know if that's what it is. The same label on both, uh, some Frankfurter style sausages and a larger block here. Now I'd imagine you possibly could get away with eating these as they are as well, but including the salami, I'm gonna cook it up in my trusty pan right here. So let me do that. We'll start off uh, with the salami then, which as I say, you could probably have had raw, uh, but I do like pepperoni pizzas, stuff like that. I really like it nice and cooked. So a uh, little bit of oil on there. Let's give it a go. Spank my buttocks and call me Peter Pan. That pepper ribbon around there was super, super good. It really gave it a little, uh, I can't work out uh, what meat it was. Possibly a combination of lots of different ones, but I really liked it. The strange thing is uh, they all look the same. Uh, so this next disc, uh, the thicker uh, salami that I cut up, does look quite similar to the thin one that I just had. So uh, let's have a try this. No, that is different. That's a lot milder. Obviously there's no pepper going around the edge and I really think that did help the other one. And that does taste different as well. And I'm starting to think now, was that a deer? Was that an ostrich? Can someone please let me know what flavor that was that I just ate? It's all right. But you know when you eat a meat and you don't know what it is, hopefully that doesn't happen very often. It's not even one of those things where I can say, it tastes like chicken. That's all right though. Yeah, that is very, very similar. Um, that does have a bit more of a peppery kick to it, I think. Unless it's just the salami coming back to haunt me, going, whoa. That, again, is confusing me. I don't know what animal I'm eating, I'm really scared. Maybe it's not an animal. Maybe it's some sort of mystical plant that grows on Ireland. Oh my goodness, that peppery taste is really coming back now. Um, but that meat actually was really, really good. So guys, that is it for our Ireland uh, taste adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down below what you think would be your favorite. I think my favorite is either the dimes or these choco mints. They are so, so R. Kelly-ish. I'm gonna have one of these right now to clear the palate uh, of the pepper. But if you wanna send me something from your country, uh, get in touch via the myvirginkitchen.com contact form. I've got other boxes there. Someone sent me some more Dutch treats as well, which is pretty cool. A lot of you have said that I need to get some more of those, so they're on the way as well. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm gonna eat one of these. Thank you so, so much, Lillian, for introducing me to Ireland. Amazing times, and I'll see you soon. I'm gonna eat this right now. My mind telling me no, I'm a body, telling me yeah.